The Himalayas has always supported half the world's population with fresh water. Rich rivers provided for self-perpetuating agriculture and trade. In Europe, the story was different. After the voyages of discovery, trade was the key to wealth and power. Countries fought for domination. During the Second Anglo-Dutch War, hemp merchant Captain Coke said, World trade is too little for nations like ours. One of us must go down. Trade and competition drove innovation. Laws and governance. Over hundreds of years, England's laws limited the absolute authority of the monarch and empowered the individual with rights. Compare Spain where 20,000 Inquisition spies closed down all debate with England, where after the break from Rome, Henry VIII put an English Bible in every church, which was debated in every tavern. Compare France, where the absolute monarch authorised Jesuits to destroy Diderot's encyclopaedia, with England, whose constitutional monarch was patron of the Royal Society. Only England had the stability and liberty to capitalise on the Enlightenment. Dynamism and engagement. Compare China, ossified by Confucianism and the imperial examination, and India in religious torpor with England, where radical ideas flourished. During the Civil War, pamphleteers spoke of the rights of man and questioned the Bible saying all comes from nature. Challenging the distribution of land and wealth, Gerardwin Stanley said, The old world is running up like parchment in the fire. A tradition of petitioning and fighting for rights, justice and equality produced a ferment for progress. Financial infrastructure The Dutch were the first to establish a modern trading empire with a national bank and stock exchange. In 1688, William of Orange and Mary daughter of James II, became joint monarchs, pledging to uphold parliamentary rights. The Bank of England and a regulated stock exchange followed. The people were passionate investors. Even the collapse of the South Sea bubble was no deterrent to investment. The Spanish ambassador said, in England nobody keeps their money in a chest. The Dutch had also embraced the Enlightenment, but had had to fight debilitating wars for survival against Spain, France and England. Agricultural Revolution Between 1500 and 1800, agricultural production in Britain increased 200%. By contrast, France had a 100% increase and Poland 25%. The agricultural revolution had many causes, amongst which were free crop rotation, deep ploughing and livestock breeding. It also had many consequences, liberating labour for industry, supporting a larger population and enabling farm workers to start cottage industries. In 1707, the Act of Union made Britain the largest free trade area in Europe, with a powerful navy for the defence and expansion of its world trade. Iron and coal were not the key ingredients. The revolution began long before its manifestation through industry. 